who am I? <laughs> oh, well, it's hard to say, I better get my book and read it out. <laughs> Rob Roy was an institution because there weren't many race meetings then and it was like a, a, you know, a weekend get together with the sporting fraternity and they could get boozed and carry on and rush up and down the hill, you know, walk around in their fancy gear and that and it was a sort of an introduction to motorsport as far as I was concerned. And I used to go to all the meetings. This is 1947. First meeting after the war. That's a home built car. Now, this is John Paracloth in the NE Magnet. That's an SS Jaguar. Yeah, much more exotic car. But everything is stripped off to make it go faster. Oh, that's a day special. These are MGs and things lined up. That's a Ford V8 special. Well, especially as a home-built car. Yeah, you get a whole heap of bits from the disposals or wherever, or it's laying into people's houses and you put it together and make a car. But the home-built cars were better than the factory ones because they were purposely built to go up a river. And this is a speed car. Now, they would drive these on the speedway, but they decided they'd run them at Rob Roy. And strange, they beat everyone. <laughs> yeah. So they banned him. See, where they went up bound that there, you aim about a yard in over the dirt. By the time you got there, you'd be just on the edge of the track and, and drifting the car and pointing straight at the hill. You either got it right or wrong. There was no in between. Just look at that, that's, that's the stro that's the best stopping after the end. You see? Just look at it, look at it. Look, it's a dirt track. And, and you're doing upwards towards 100 miles an hour. <laughs> and this is later. This is the bitumen track. This is 1950. And so you have the, tr the track is a lot better. This is a typical Rob Roy family gathering. Yeah, the picnic basket, the, 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 the esky. Um, you weren't supposed to drink, drink until after the meeting. But if you weren't competing, they didn't worry about that. That's Alan Wiley. Now, he was the Lord Mayor of Melbourne, and he liked motorsport. Now, cars like this were driven on the road. As long as you had a number plate on a horn and a registration label, that's all what was required. It didn't matter whether they had a body, a loud exhaust, or whatever. That's the way it worked. Now, they'd take all the mud guards and everything, and everything off them, you see, because they don't go faster like that. And that's, that's uh, Barbara, that's Barbara Wiley. Now, no crash out or anything like that. She drives this scarf. The last time I ran there was, I had a very famous MG. It was the fastest MG in the world, just about. And uh, this American came out here. I'd take him for a ride around the, where my house was you know, at 12 o'clock at night, you know, moving around the back streets and everything. Yeah, and uh, we'd, we'd, we'd had it at Rob Roy. I gave the demonstration run and broke a class record. So uh, and that was the last run I had at Rob Roy in that sort of car. 